If you're on the hunt for the best camping axe, we've bucked up a log or two for you. We bought the top 10 best to test side by side after thorough market research. It's hard to tell which axes will hold an edge, which can split a round, and which excel at precision tasks like limbing a log without hands-on experience. We ordered them up and then took them out into the real world, trying them out on the tough wood of a locust tree, splitting some rounds, making kindling, and chopping down an autumn olive invasion. In the process, we found the best splitter, our favorite limber, and top options for those shopping on a budget. The first product on our list is Fiskars X1117 inch. The Fiskars X11 splitting axe is great for small jobs around camp, like limb trimming or bucking up longer longs. It also excels at splitting. It makes carving off some kindling a breeze and splits rounds with surprising authority. The cutting blade quickly widens into a wedge, with a pronounced curve on the axe's cheek. This shape wedges between wood grains, amplifying your work to break wood apart efficiently. Fiskar says that this geometry also makes this camping axe easier to pull back out of the wood, and we'd agree with that. The axe's great balance, lightweight feel, and effective blade shape combine to make quick work of most tasks. The orange end of the handle is hollow, meant to absorb vibrations, saving your hands and forearms. It seemed to work for us during longer splitting jobs, and we love that the sheath doubles as a handle for longer walks. Made in Finland, the axe's construction seems solid, and we don't have any durability concerns for the axe itself. There is a plastic spinning lock on the sheath that seems like an apparent weakness. Time will tell how long it lasts, but you can certainly get by without it. At 17.5 inches long, it's larger than many of the camp axes we tested. That makes for more leverage and power, though, which is part of why we like it. This axe works at home and at camp flawlessly, offering a great value and our favorite performance across the board. The second product on our list is MTech USA Two-Tone. The MTech axe is small. It's also one of the lightest options we tested. That means it's easy to fit in a pack and or stash in your car. The handle is comfortable to grip, with a curve that gives you good leverage and blade control. The combination means that it's pleasant to use, with a reasonably sharp blade out of the box. We like it best to chop kindling out of pre-split wood or scraps. It feels sturdy, without any discernible weak points. It also works well for felling small saplings or light limbing. The MTech is small in size, and its short handle makes it less suited to bigger jobs, like cutting a log in half. We also worry about the nylon sheath. The snaps are stubborn, hard to open and close, and the entire sheath can slip, exposing the top point of the blade even when it is closed properly. If you choose this one, be wary to avoid cutting yourself, or duct tape the sheath's top. We think of this as a backup camping axe, not one you want to use for any amount of time. But it will easily make you enough kindling for a fire, help you knock in some tent stacks, and clear a limb or two out of the trail. The next product is Kershaw Deschutes Bearded Hatchet. The Kershaw Deschutes Bearded Hatchet is the lightest and most compact option that we'd opt to use for anything more than a quick job or two, like getting a fire going or cutting down a few shrubs. The entire axe head is thin, keeping weight down while the mid-length handle still gives you the power you need to get the job done. The axe head is 3 sour 13 steel with a black oxide coating. It's one of the sharper options in the test out of the box, and the rubber inserts on the glass-filled nylon handle are comfortable to hold. The construction seems solid, and we expect this axe to last. The plastic sheath is also surprisingly sturdy and handy, with an included nylon strap so you can sling it over your shoulder. We like this axe best for jobs like cutting down saplings, chopping up kindling, and carving off small limbs, though it also does a surprisingly good job cutting a log in half. We wouldn't want to cut log after log with this camping axe. It's just too short to be efficient for jobs that call for more power. The nylon webbing sling on the sheath can be annoying but is easily removed. This axe does the best job of balancing weight and power and is our favorite choice to toss in a backpack to keep trails clear of fire roaring. The next product in our list is Grensforce Brux Small Forest. 
The Grensforce Brux Small Forest Axe is hand-forged from recycled steel with a hickory handle. There's even a tanned vegan leather sheath that doubles as a belt loop. It looks beautiful, and it works beautifully. The curved handle balances the weight of the axe head nicely, making it feel light in hand and giving you excellent leverage and improving accuracy. This was one of our favorite options for accuracy tests like limbing a log and power tests like bucking it into rounds. It's long enough to pack a little power, and the sharp blade gets the job done quickly. We also like it for cutting down small trees and chopping kindling. This axe is so pleasant to use that we go looking for, invasive, trees to chop down. It's built to last. While the Brux small forest will split rounds, it's not great at it. The blade cuts into the round but doesn't split it very efficiently since it doesn't widen into a wedge. We limited our splitting chores with this option, though it's great and carving kindling off from pre-split wood. If a recycled hand-forged axe made in Sweden sounds expensive, that's because it is. Its good looks, environmental ethic and excellent accuracy need to be worth it to you. The next product is Estwing Sportsman's Axe 14 inches. The Estwing Sportsman's Axe is forged in one piece and made in America from American steel. It feels as solid as it sounds. We were impressed by the sharpness of the blade, the axe's balance, and how indestructible it seems. It's also versatile, tackling log chopping, sapling cutting, and kindling creating. The blade cuts easily into wood, and the length and handle curve provide impressive leverage. Estwing doesn't advertise the pole, or back of the axe head, as a hammering tool. Still, it is a wide and flat surface that many will use that way. It worked well in our experience, though the handle may not be engineered for the force generated when coming from that direction. We wish the handle had a better grip. It's wrapped in sanded and lacquered leather that feels like plastic, and it's slippery. As a result, this axe is unpleasant to use, since hanging onto the handle is tiring. It's also heavier than our favorite compact option, the Kershaw, without seeming to offer more cutting power. The nylon sheath has a loop for your belt and is built to be opened from above, but the top snap is incredibly stiff, and it can feel awkward to open and close. If you're passionate about American-made products, this is a quality axe that works well for the typical tasks if you're willing to hold on harder. The next product in our list is Schrade Skax 10. The Schrade Skax 10 is very similar to the MTech USA axe. The two have similar dimensions and are small enough that you never hesitate to toss them in your car or pack. Though the Schrade is slightly heavier, they are both well balanced and pleasant to swing. Of the two, the Schrade has a more comfortable grip. The rubber is softer, helping to cushion vibrations on impact. It doesn't bite as well, though, feeling comparatively dull. Taking more swings to get the same amount of work done gets old quickly. The sheath is protective, but it seems overly complicated and is annoying to operate. This axe is also more expensive than the MTech, so we don't recommend it unless you find a really good deal and don't plan on using it very often. The next product in our list is Best Choice 14-inch. The other axes in the review outperform the best choice in every aspect, including price. On the upside, it's a nice size, and the rubber-wrapped fiberglass handle offers a sturdy grip. It also curves promisingly, suggesting enough leverage for a powerful blow. While the axe is heavy for its dimensions, and that weight lends it a bit of power, the balance is all off. The blade is also surprisingly dull. It tires you out. We don't recommend buying this option. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.